What is the difference between the Reformation version of righteousness by faith and the 1888 version of righteousness by faith as presented by Jones and Wagner? There are two or three basic differences. In the Reformation understanding of the gospel, which we refer to as the Luther, Calvin, uh, main, uh, mainstream reformers, um, there was always an antithesis between the law and the gospel. The law was negative. The law was something that only drove us to Christ in despair and the gospel saves. Um, the law and the gospel were at war with each other. In the 1888 message, the gospel always leads to the law. We are driven by our need to Christ, and Christ brings us back to the law, empowering us to obey the law. And so there is a marriage of justice and mercy, of law and grace, in the 1888 message that was missing in the Reformation. We need to remember that when Martin Luther and John Calvin give their messages, they're coming out of great darkness. There is almost no understanding of the grace of Christ. It is all do it as hard as you can and do more of it and give more money and then you'll have a place unless you're in purgatory and then they can pray you out. And uh, so when they're coming out of this, they're doing their very best to give new insight into the gospel and justification, but it is only a partial insight. And so there is a very unique blend that, jo that Jones and Wagner are making as to law and gospel. And also, when we're talking about justification, there is a very unique blend of justification declared and justification experienced, in which the Holy Spirit comes into our heart, makes us new people, changes us from the inside out, which makes sanctification very easy once that happens. And Jones and Wagner would be fond of saying it's easy to be saved. They meant once you've experienced justification, everything else is easy. That's the hard part. The Reformation didn't have that clear understanding. Thank you very much, Dennis. Yeah. Larry? Uh, another piece on this is that uh, Calvin and Luther and the magisterial reformers, Zwingli, Calvin, and Luther, they were all very Augustinian in terms of their viewpoint on what sin is. And so they, they were coming out of great darkness. God used them mightily. Uh, but at the same time, there was a lot of Augustine. You heard me mention him in terms of the teaching of the doctrine of original sin. So this, this was kind of brought along, into, uh, along in their thinking and has affected, uh, has affected the work of God ever since in, in a negative way in this particular case. Ron? Yeah, I would just add that um, there, there has been a, a movement, I guess, in our church for some time uh, to suggest that the message that Jones and Wagner brought was nothing more than just the Reformation gospel. And I would suggest that even that, even the Reformation gospel that's being presented is even a perversion of what Luther and Calvin and, and, and these other reformers taught. It's actually more of an evangelical concepts of, of modern day. And so, you know, you will find that in some of our history books, and it's something to be aware of, that it, uh, Jones and Wagner's message was in light of the cleansing of the sanctuary. Uh, Martin Luther did not know of that. And uh, like uh, Dennis Preby preached last night, some of those powerful sermons by Jones, in, in seeing that connection, cleansing of the heavenly sanction in connection with the cleansing of our hearts, that was a concept foreign or not known. We don't blame Luther for that, but... God is, is continually re revealing more light, and of course, 1844, 1888, he wanted to bring us more light.